Okay, welcome back to Old Town. Uh, the first map I showed you. Should be on in just a second when I realise we don't have players and it needs to put bots in. As you can see, you've got the alley market, roadblock spawn, seaside spawn, bell tower. It's really taking its time to think about this one. Here we go. Marcus Arnie bot, as shown by the lack of levels and stars on their names. Four, three, two, one. Right. I'm just going to absolutely sprint it towards a particular weapon that I want to show you all. Um, Sweet. The Digger Launcher, which is a very interesting weapon. I'm just hoping that I get there before they do, which is. Oh crap, their entire team just got it. Yeah. That didn't end well, so I'm going to have to grab a different weapon and show you guys of that one. Okay. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. I'm just going to run it. I've got no chance other than to just peg for my life. There we go. Oh, there we go. I didn't know more for him. Right, let's go grab a flamethrower. AKA a scorcher. And it's just my luck, I didn't pick one up. Okay, if you've got your ammo count up there, it's got uh, just a bar of ammo as opposed to, say, a number of limited shots, because it's just a continuous flame when you fire it. Uh, you can buy fire and you can see where it all goes. Just blow up a chicken there. Active reload makes the flame longer and more damaging. Let's just go down here. Just set people on fire, why not? This is an awesome execution, ready? Cook him from the inside out. Love it. Maybe the digger launch is spawned, I'm going to have a look. Kick a chicken on the way. Or just punch it. Oh, now he's got it, okay. Digger launcher goes through cover and leaves a trail. I'll try to explain as much as I can of it. Oh, I switched the Nasher. You're ruining my video! I'll do a kick, there we go. Let's do it again. But yeah, you just saw the kick, which is always good to show. I'm going to hang here and wait for the dig launcher to spawn, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it again. Keep an eye out for that prick. <sighs> okay. There it is. Perfect. Dig launcher, when you aim it, it's got a similar thing to the grenade. It just sort of jumps and travels along the floor. And that's the reason being because it digs through. It's like a digging frag grenade that just all eats its way underground and fires an enemy, finds an enemy and nice. just kills him. Find a locust style, uh, I'll show you. You can go upstairs and all that sort of crap, so, uh, there, just kill someone with it. I'll just show you a quick shot. It digs under, digs underground like that, pops up and explodes. It can also pop up into people, which is always fun. As you see, you can dig for a very long time towards when the map to the other. And I'm just going to run because that was a ridiculous shot. Interesting, they're just slowly running up here. I'm just going to run to the flamethrower because I'm going to need a gun to fight them off with. As you can see, it's sort of like a high to low map, the low end being that side, the high end being this side. Uh, it's up here. You've kind of got the high ground, uh, which helps. If you've got, say, a uh, team pinned on the wall, kicking pinned in the middle. This alleyway is kind of where all the decent power weapons spawn. I'm going to have to get out the pistol for this because I've got no other really long range weapons. So. There you go, dig along, so you can see that. Digging through, popping up. Whoa, okay, see, that's, that's what it's like when it goes inside you, it sort of uh, digs through your body and destroys it. So, got to show you that, that's fun.
That's, that's always fun to look at, I guess. Ah, friend. Respawning. Since I've shown you pretty much every weapon now, I'm just gonna play. Show a few things. Right. Backing up. Probably give this run through this corridor. Because, uh. Paul didn't realise. Anyone behind you, shit? Yep. <laughs> oh dear. People talking by the speak shot. I'm gonna have to absolutely run now because this is gonna be hectic. The boom shot now spawns in the digger launcher's position because the boom shot's one of the most powerful weapons and easy to use on the game. Um, everyone's going to be running for it. Like that, there we go. See, that's impossible to get to at first, it really is. Um, so, just a tip when a full game comes out, don't run straight to that because, well, unless your entire team's run straight to it, you're going to get killed because everyone is after that gun. Boomshot's essentially, uh, for those who don't know, grenade launcher. Fires a grenade out, um... Yeah, it's not uh, Fires a grenade out in an arc, so you've got to sort of aim up, sort of judge where the arc's going. Um, pretty much direct impact, blows up. Uh, it doesn't... It's not. It's like a frag, but you're firing it. So, instead of... Well, apart from the fact that it doesn't go beep, 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 bang, it'll just explode in a horrible mass murder. And it comes with three shots. So uh, you only got three shots, but that's three potential easy kills. Of course, if people are smart enough, they'll dodge around it. I'm gonna wait here till it spawns again. I'm not gonna get it otherwise, and you're not gonna see it. We've got enemy reinforcements. Boom shot, three shots, each shot is one in a clip. Uh, the aimer is like that. Uh, you've sort of got an arc here, you can sort of tell it almost looks like the um looks quite like the impact hammer from um Hammer of Tournament. As you can see, you can dodge it quite easily if you know what you're doing. Just got him. Only comes with those three shots though, and if you shoot at long range it'll arc down so you can sort of judge the arc. Quite a hefty looking weapon as well. There's an ink grenade over there. Instead of here, I haven't been over here. I'm gonna get killed. Great. When you're downed, uh, you can crawl around, uh, get shot to death, you can get revived by friends. Uh, the quickest way to revive by yourself, which you can do, is um, just sit still and tap A a lot. Because then you sort of get up slowly. This is the other side of the map where uh, you sort of sniper a long shot and uh, your turbo spawn. It's sort of he's got two almost alleys around that central area. And here's the back end of the beat spawn. Extra revive, pick him up. So there's a boom shot there, I'll just get back because it's a bad place to be down a small corridor. Might as well trick him into firing his shot first again. He's only got three. So important to remember. He just killed himself with it, so yeah. But, oh jeez, that was a bad idea. Did not expect him to be there. Anyway, this is the beach side spawn. You start down here, there's a couple of boats. Um, this way leads up to the, to the uh, flamethrower, which is the same as up there. Just in case going uphill around here. What's the score now? We've got 0-1. I'm probably going to win again. Or we will, it is either way, I could have just been an idiot. Yeah, at least we're about to win. Well, I, I say that he could end up destroying everyone, but it's incredibly unlikely. I say that he kills someone. And another one. This could end badly for us. Doing pretty well, and there we go. 
I'll give him credit. He took out two people. The lion and skull marking everyone's death. The little uh, cross sword there in tw uh, on the other person. The cross sword there means he's my nemesis, which means uh, he either killed me a lot or I killed him a lot, or a mixture of both. I think it's if he's killed me a lot. That's probably even better, better factor to look at. Uh, there's no other weapons I can show you, so I guess I'm just gonna have to play a match and uh, see how it goes without having to worry about showing people everything. One thing I will try and do is show you an extended execution. Uh, just as a note, there are ten, two uh, extended executions in the game. There's one where you punch their face for a while, and there's one where you rip their arm off, which you've seen multiple times, and beat them to death with it. Okay, that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping to kick him, but it didn't work. Focusing too much on uh, downing everyone. Look up here. Seems to be ah, there they are. Let's uh, throw a smoke grenade at them. Get some cover. See, behind here, I'm quite safe to just sit here and uh, revive myself. I tap an A a lot. I might end yeah, up getting killed by that guy, but hopefully, I'll revive before that. There we go. There we go. Get your snub pistol out, because uh, you can only do the extended discussions to that. Now, here's the face punch one. Someone punched, someone just shot him in the head, which is quite funny. And then I was just sort of sat there, just punching him to death. The extended discussions are dangerous in that if you sat to sit there for a while, someone's going to eventually try to kill you. Uh, the reason why the snub pistol works with that is because once you've unlocked each weapon's execution, they will only do that execution. Until then, like, for example, if you try and execute with the Lancer when you haven't unlocked the Lancer's execution, you will do one of the two extended executions. Let's try again, shall we? You get points for the duration of the execution as well, so it's, it's worth it to go for it. However, I respawn to deplete so I'm doing a big risk by sitting there punching his face. Let's try actually winning this. Let's keep an eye out. Here's my teammates. There's one down there. One over there, one behind me. There's a locust there. Quickly, quickly get to him. That was a waste of him. Found him. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a bad idea. It was worth a try. Here we go. Ghost camera around this. Well, there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed the descriptions of everything and the uh, introduction to the Team Deathmatch Gears beta and all the weapons available. Uh, keep looking out, I've got the, the Capture the Leader and King of the Hill game mode to look at. Uh, just click the top middle annotation to get to the main menu again. Hope to see you there.